On this night of 8 December 2022, planet Mars gets closest to Earth. This is why tonight I am going to capture Mars with this type of self-made telescope and my smartphone. You can use any type of smartphone if you have a manual mode in it and you will need this type of smartphone adapter. So let's get started. That's how my telescope looks from inside. It has the concave mirror down there which bounces the light towards the secondary mirror. This secondary mirror can be aligned with these three screws and this is a flat mirror which bounces the light towards the focuser and that's my self-made wooden focuser to which I will be attaching eyepiece or cameras. So for the primary mirror I have made these three screw alignment which can be aligned to align the primary mirror and spider has a great home in it and now it's time for to check the collimation and for this i will be using this budget collimating tool which has a hole at the center and a dark circle inside it that is how one should use the collimating tool and if you look through it you will see this type of view wherein the secondary mirror cell should be uh oh my telescope has the bad collimation this would have given me a blurry undetailed image so after a few minutes of struggle finally i got it right this is how it should be you can see the secondary mirror cell is exactly at the center of primary mirror this is not that accurate method but the most accurate method I will be explaining it in the next videos. While I waited for sun to set and Mars to rise in the east, I captured one of these. It's dark enough right now and I can see a bright star overhead. This is not a star but it's the planet mighty Jupiter. Yes, it's very very bright. And if you have this tool in your machine, you can control and predict the entire universe with just few clicks. And there's the Jupiter. And now let's see where is the red planet Mars. And there it is. It is still on the horizon and never capture planets when they are on the horizon because each photon coming to your sensor will be wobbled and killed by Earth's wobbly atmosphere. And just look at that. We should be able to capture most prominent features on Mars because my telescope has 4.5 inch aperture and I don't know if my telescope can resolve that much details on Mars. And there's the Pleiades star cluster which I have captured with my most budget setup. There's the ISS which is still in my bucket list. And here we have planet Uranus and finally we have mighty Jupiter. And this is my next mission to capture Jupiter with smartphone. And right now there is nothing much interesting on Jupiter because there is no red spot right now. There is one tiny eclipse going on but I have captured many eclipses on Jupiter. So for now I am waiting for Mars to come on the zenith position that is overhead. <laughs> I have two plans to capture Mars, that is plan A to capture it with a DSLR and right now Mars is in the field of view because I have connected my DSLR to my telescope and you can see the similar view that you can see through a collimation cap. Let me focus in right now. This is the live view and you can see there's a problem. 
Mars looks very tiny because my DSLR sensor is very large and focal length is just 900 millimeters. So disappointment. So I will switch to plan B which is the most budget the most budget I will say to capture planets with a mobile phone. Right now I have connected my telescope to my mobile phone and you can see Mars looks much bigger because I can digitally zoom inside and just look at that. I can see slight features on the Mars that's beautiful. So I have captured three videos with different white balance so that I can get different features on Mars and you can clearly make out it. So right now I am observing the Mars and my next mission would be to capture Jupiter and I think we can get Jupiter with its cloud bands and the great red spot. So till then clear skies subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.